Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good this evening. So I want to come out here and talk about the whole Kim Porter situation. And I, like a lot of people, are shocked right now. And I know a lot of folks wanted me to come on and, and do a video about her. Um, if you do not know, it was reported earlier today that Kim Porter passed. Um, they really don't know the cause of death right now. They're saying that she had flu-like symptoms. She's been sick for a few weeks, and there was an emergency call from her home in Toluca Lakes out there in California. And she died today at age 47. This entire situation is just really sad. One thing... Um, I can say about Kim Porter is that she seemed like a really, really wonderful woman. I've never, ever done a story on her. Why? Because I've never known her to be caught up in any mess. When I tell you right now, social media is definitely mourning. I saw so many celebrities sending their condolences out. You know, she was very loved in the hip-hop community. Even though she was a model, she did some acting, but because of her affiliation to Diddy, that's how a lot of people knew her. But you never saw her in any drama. Even with whatever mess was going on in their relationship, you know, whatever breakups they had she never blasted him she never you know ran to reality television she always kept a low profile it was about diddy and it was about those kids and i respect her for that i can only imagine what her kids are feeling right now about a week ago we had posted on instagram a picture of quincy who is her son with albie shore and he was doing a photo recreation with him and his grandfather and she's done a good job raising her kids you never hear about them in trouble you never hear about them getting arrested they all work they're all you know making their own way christian's doing his thing rapping and then she has her two beautiful twin daughters and i know they were doing some modeling as well and quincy's been working really hard and their last family photo was taken on october 30th which was just about two weeks ago and they had the whole family there including Justin who's Diddy's son from a prior relationship so all the kids were there um, they were all there to support Quincy now this is truly incredible Netflix headquarters wow 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 come here no come here come here got my fam here yes so yeah proud. yeah team here hey this Friday tomorrow Yes. Oh no, what's today? I don't know, I'm happy. <laughs> and you know, the whole situation is just really sad because they definitely had a very close-knit family. And Kim Porter would definitely be missed. You know, she carried herself with grace. She carried herself with excellence. And like I said, you never, ever heard about her being involved in a bunch of mess. You never heard about her, you know, disrespecting him or blasting him on social media. They never aired out their dirty business. And I definitely respect her for that. She's probably the perfect ex that anybody could have. Because, again, she never, you know, took anything to TMZ. She always, you know, walked around with her head held high. So she's definitely going to be missed in not only the hip-hop community, but just also, you know, in general general so she's definitely going to be missed so this is what tmz is reporting um they're also showing the coroner's van leaving her home so they do have that video as you guys can see right here um so they're basically saying kim porter the model and actress who dated diddy for 13 years was found dead thursday at her la area home law enforcement sources tell us they got a call to porter's to luca lake home around noon Police are still on the scene right now. According to emergency dispatch, the audio call came in as a patient in cardiac arrest. Sources connected to Kim tells us that she's been suffering flu-like symptoms and possible pneumonia for several weeks, but it's still unclear what exactly caused her death. Another, another source says Kim had contacted her doctor just yesterday, complaining that she wasn't feeling any better. Diddy and Kim's relationship spanned more than a decade with several breakups and makeups. They started dating in 1994 and broke up for the last Last time in 2007. They had three children together. Twin girls, Jesse James and Delilah, were born in 2006 and their son Christian in 1998. She also has a son, Quincy Brown, from her previous relationship with Albie Shore. The whole family was last together in public, supporting Quincy at last month's premiere for the movie Holiday Calendar. Kim worked as both a model and an actress, and she made appearances on Diddy's show, I Want to Work for Diddy. Diddy's rep, Cindy Berger, tells us, Sadly, I can confirm the passing of Kim Porter. I ask that you give the family privacy at this time. Kim was 47 years old. So that's what TMZ is reporting. There's not a lot of details yet. You know, what I don't like is what I'm seeing is people are speculating about her death and saying, you know, flu-like symptoms. You know, she might have had something. Then you got people already cranking out the Illuminati videos, you know, saying that Diddy sacrificed her. 
let's let this family mourn in peace, okay? Until there's evidence to, you know, what caused Kim to pass at, you know, 47 years old, nobody should be speculating anything. Right now, the only thing people should be doing is just writing RIP and keeping that family in prayer because at the end of the day, you have children out here who have lost a mother. You have Diddy who's lost like a longtime companion and I can only imagine what he's going through. So I think people need to use some type of cooth, you know what I'm saying, when talking about her situation on social media because again, she... She wasn't the type of person to be involved in a lot of negativity and mess. So that's how I'm going to look at her and that's how I'm going to look at her memory. So this entire situation is just really sad. But once again, it just goes to show you that life is so short. You know what I mean? Life is very short. You're not promised tomorrow. It doesn't matter how much fame, money, or prestige you have. At the end of the day, we all have one life and eventually we will all leave here. You have to make the best of your life and decide the type of legacy you want to leave behind. And I think that Kim Porter left a wonderful, long-lasting legacy and she would definitely be missed. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a I started to write the song for my lady and it was about kimberly the song was about kim uh so you had my baby it means so much to me and i remember they were working on the song and they couldn't come up with the lyrics and al looked at me and he was like so you're having my baby and i was like ah! forever my lady ultimately became the title track of jodeci's debut album and a number one hit and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.